In this procedure, electrospun PCL scaffolds are set up in different ways to determine an optimal cell seeding setup. First, the sterile scaffolds are placed in the different setups being investigated, including cell culture inserts, troughs, and bioreactor rotary vessels. Once in place, a known number of cells are seeded onto the scaffold and then left undisturbed for 20 minutes. Then, all samples are carefully moved to an incubator set at 5% carbon dioxide and 37 degrees Celsius and subjected to static or dynamic conditions for four hours. Following this culture time, the number of cells that have attached to the scaffold is determined by a DNA assay to quantify the amount of cells in the scaffold, media, and well fractions. Ultimately, this is achieved by quantifying the DNA present on the scaffold, the well, and in the surrounding media. To view the attachment of cells to scaffolds, scanning electron microscopy, or SEM, is used. We first had the idea for this investigation when we knew our scaffolds didn't cover the entire base of the well plate, which meant there was a possibility that not all of the cells would be in contact with the scaffold and hence able to attach. To begin, set up the cell culture inserts under laminar flow by opening the sterile six well cell culture inserts and separating the shorter rings with teeth from the wider ringed bodies. Then, take the ring with the teeth pointing upwards and drape one of the four centimeter scaffolds over the center of the ring, making sure it overlaps on both sides. Take the ringed body and position it over the toothed ring and scaffold.